Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back at Garden with me, Mitchell Jr. Suede. In this video feature, of course, we are going to do as the title says. I'm going to test and see which way or what is the best method to have your compost in your back at Garden. Now I'm going to try to rush this video sort of because the weather is getting a bit dark and rainy and um, by the time this video is released the weather would have passed already so what i'm gonna do um, as you can see in the background here i've got a tire now this garden area is a slopey area and it's very difficult to plant vegetables on this um slope okay this slope area is mainly to plant trees such as fruit trees like lemon cambola salsa papaya trees which will hold into the ground well um planting vegetables will be difficult so what i've decided to do to assist this um garden um, of course is by having tires. So what I did basically I cut into the slope and then I placed the tire there If you would like me to show you how to do that, of course, you could let me know leave a comment below But I cut into the slope and then I placed the tire there and now I'm gonna add compost to the entire tire and then bury it So that's one method to um, have compost implemented into your garden to enrich your garden soil and another thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna place a box of compost on it so possibly a week to two weeks later we could either dig up the compost here or um, basically inspect the compost in the box so these are two things I'm gonna show you how you can actually implement compost into your backyard garden to enrich your soil now of course if you're gonna use the box technique you can do this and then whenever you're ready to plant does just dig a hole and bury the box put some soil in it and then plant the plant on the box that way it will have that um compact nutrients under the plant so that it could actually grow faster so this is two idea let's just go ahead and do it before the rain starts thank you very much let's go ahead okay guys as you can see here um of course we've got the nice cleared area right there just gonna remove some of the stones so we've got this nice area right here to add in the compost so we're gonna pour it in right now So just to give you a better view, there's the compost, you know, nice switch compost, gonna try to fill this up and then I'm gonna bear it for you guys to see. Someone may have thrown some money in the compost. <laughs> okay, um, I know who this belongs to. I'm gonna have this money returned to them. So guys, most likely the person might have thrown like paper bag into the compost and they had money in it. They could have maybe go out and buy something and they put the change in the paper bag and they did not know. Um, so it was in the compost. Um, so to be returned to the owner. But of course, please check the bag for the compost, okay? It's a bit of a windy day. Um, oh, the sun is coming out. That's good. Just gonna have to add it on right now. And then we are gonna wet it. And after we are going to go ahead and add on um, some soil to the top. And in a week to two weeks time, we will check it again. Let's get some soil to add on right now. So of course guys, we will come back in a week to two weeks time to check upon it to see what happened. Um, the hope is that um, the compost material under the soil will decompose much faster, um, which will allow you or encourage you to go ahead and have your compost buried into your backyard garden. Um, if it is that you have like raised beds and you have like quite a few, maybe let's just say about five or six, you could add compost to a raised bed or to three raised beds buried while you're using free or the raised bed then you come back to the raised bed where you buried the compost plant on it or dig it up 
and plant on it and then the other compost bed or the other waste bed sorry you go ahead and add compost that way you're always adding compost material to your waste bed thus enriching the soil to allow your plants to grow even better and to allow living or uh, microorganisms to thrive within your waste bed um, of course we're gonna have the box added on right on here I'm definitely telling you that the results um, basically the compost on the soil will decompose faster and break down faster um, than the box because the box will not have the ability to retain moisture as well as the tire and the compost under the soil so as I told you with the box idea you can go ahead and have this done if you've got quite a few small boxes adding compost to them and then when you're ready to plant you could either dig the hole take the box with the compost in it and bury it and then add on some soil and then plant your fruit tree your seedling whatever it is you're gonna plant I would mainly recommend this idea for crops such as cucumbers because cucumbers they are very very powerful plant they take up a lot of nutrients that's the reason why you notice when a cucumber produces it turns yellow quick the tree itself the plant turns yellow quick because it needs a lot of nutrients so please ensure if you want to take on this idea um, you could go ahead and do that if you're planting plants such as cucumbers okay because they will really suck up, suck up a lot of nutrients from the soil okay guys so this is the uh, other box i was telling you about as you can see we've got some compost material we've got um yam and dashing peeling we've got some napkin some eggshells some paper and i'm uh, seeing some air fashion food seeds which means we might get some seeds um seedlings from these um, I don't have the space yet to plant the passion fruit um, so in the meantime maybe in two weeks time when I come and this decompose I will try to get the seeds and then we plant them i um, also got some here um, papaya skin um, orange peeling just a basic um, kitchen compost material banana peeling so we are gonna have this one place right here okay um, as you can see it's a recycled um, milk silk almond milk box um i normally recommend that you use boxes without printing or painting on it when it comes to composting but this is what um i was supplied with um the, someone supplied me with compost in a box and for me to try this idea and this is the box it came in um so we're just going to use it for now but as much as you can try to use boxes which has no printing or painting on it like it pure cardboard okay but in the meantime i'm just going to use this as this was provided to me okay so this is just a, a box with some basic compost material. Okay. We're gonna leave this here for also a week to two weeks, same as the soil, and then we will return and we will um, basically inspect it to see which one is better or which method is better. Okay, guys. So right now it's two to three weeks since we've done this idea of since we've gone ahead and buried the compost. I will tell you now that this project was a win and a fail. Um, the box. I will tell you what happened, or I will tell you what I think happened. Um, if you notice from just from looking at the video right now you will notice that there's a lot of shrubs or there's a lot of compost mix all over it looked like um, something invited itself into this project idea and um, it was basically looking for food so I'm not quite sure if it was a mice or if it was some sort of um, agouti or something some um, animal may have come and dig up it was not crab um, crab do not dig up compost material like this so we are gonna see what exactly is going on right here. I will give you a closer view. So far the box looked like um, whatever was looking for food may have taken out everything from the box. So before I tamper with it, I want to show it to you, okay? Um, of course, as I said, it's about two to three weeks since we've started this and we should see a pretty good result, at least in the tire. The one in the box might not be all that successful, but the one in the tire should be okay. Get a closer view, let's go ahead. Okay guys, so I can already see that um, most or if not all the compost material from the box have been tampered with by whatever creature was there um, most of the, the compost material that is what i'm assuming is here okay because i'm seeing a lot of compost material you would have heard i said it was a win and a loss um in that we did not get to see this idea to fruit um but what i've noticed whatever might have been you know nibbing or eating up the compost really broke it up quite a lot not quite sure what exactly but this all this shrubs all this compost material would have come from the box i'm assuming i'm hoping because i really want the compost material from under the soil to basically decompose i really hope it decompose um but i'm not quite sure where all this compost come from it might have been from underground too some might have come out from underground because this box is already filled up you see this it's a lot it's a lot of compost material 
So this one, I guess I'll have to add it to the main compass. But for now, let us dig and see what it looks like underneath, okay? So of course, as you can see, the soil is very much, okay, some decomposed. Okay, we still have some there. As you can see, the soil, oh, guys, ensure that you remove the plastic from your compost. So as you can see, the soil is nice and roomy. So it was a good result. See this? This is how you know your compost material worked in your soil. When you can do this. When you've got like, you can compact it into a ball and it's harder to break. That's when you know you've got you've gotten good results. So let's just mix it up. Some of the material I noticed, like the paper material, have not completely decomposed, but especially the food peeling have totally decomposed. So we've got this nice soil right now, as you can see, very nice, very much compact. See this? It's compacting well for a soil that's mixed with compost. That's very good. So the pineapple I'm not completely decomposes yet. Gonna add it to the other compost bin. Um, but of course, oh we've got look at this, a lizard. We've got a uh, somebody's hungry. Somebody's hungry and somebody's happy. See this? I don't know if you can see it. I told you before the reason for adding compost material to your soil will to increase the living organisms. And for sure, not quite sure if you can see it, but this is a living organism. Look, it's going there. So this is all part of, of the importance of adding compost to your soil. When these living organisms are in the soil, they will make holes or they will bore holes through the soil and allow the air to pass through the soil better. Then your roots for your, your plant root system will function better because it's well aerated in the soil. So that's why it's important to add compost material to your soil. Okay guys, as you can see the soil is very black, nice rich black soil. So some of the compost material, mainly the paper, remains, okay? Mainly the paper remains, but the actual food peeling like the banana, the oranges, the um, papaya skin, all that is gone. All that is gone. So what I'm going to do, um, whenever I'm going to plant here, I'm just going to add some more soil on here. Hopefully I will plant some soil in here for you guys to see. I have some soil in a container. I need to plant so hopefully I plant it in here for you guys to see okay so this is the importance of adding compost to your soil the soil is very much healthy and waiting for plants of course I'm gonna add some more soil to it as I told you guys before I plant the soil to help it okay Of course, thank you so very much guys for sticking around. Remember please that the backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. It will also keep hunger away and poverty away. So please try your best to practice backyard garden to, to conserve your environment, to enrich your environment with healthy plants, to allow you to even breathe better. That will keep the doctor away. Of course, if you grow your own food and you can eat healthy organic food, that is better for you. You will be a healthy and stronger person. This will keep hunger away. And of course, poverty, if it is that you are struggling in terms of paying or buying fruits and vegetables in the store, you can grow your own food to reduce that spending. And also you can grow your own fruits and vegetables to resell to the public to basically have a side income other than what you've got. Or if you do not have a side income, this could be an income for yourself by growing your fruits and vegetables in your backyard garden and then reselling it to the public. Thank you so very much guys and Agris Wade is out.